guys welcome to the ninth look of october we are moving really fast and i still have a lot of stuff planned but today we're doing the cheshire cat from alice in wonderland i wanted to put my own twist on it i gave her some him her some purple brows and now we're going to be adding some glitter i just used body paint to make my brows purple and a little brush and now I am taking the glitter adhesive. I'm using Too Faced glitter glue. And I'm laying down the glitter adhesive. And then I'm just taking a Q-tip. You can use a brush. And I'm just pushing the glitter onto the adhesive. Don't swipe it. Just tap it on there, basically, and push it into the adhesive so it stays and a lot of it sticks. And I'm just moving in small sections with the glitter glue. I'm using the Morphe 35C palette and the Urban Decay Electric palette today. I'm not doing anything too intense with my eyes. I want to make it look similar to the actual eyeballs the cat has when I close my eyes. I didn't want to make exact eyeballs on my eyelids, but I wanted it to replicate the colors and the shape of his eye eyeballs. So I just put yellow on the sides there. I'm going for more of the traditional Cheshire Cat than the Tim Burton one. Let me know if you guys like to see a Tim Burton Cheshire Cat. Then I'm taking black. I'm just making it look like the slit that a cat ha has in their eyes. So I'm just taking it up the center and blending it out. Then I'm taking some more yellow to fill in that space there. And I take a little bit of like an orangish color just to kind of blend the black to the yellow. Now I'm outlining the features on the cat. I'm doing the nose and I'm outlining the mouth as well. I am also outlining my little collar that I have going on here. I started doing stripes downwards and I was like wait no I need to do stripes going side to side and I'm also doing some little eat me and drink me tags like Alice had on those cakes and those drinks just a fun little touch I thought now I'm just making the stripes going side to side and I'm taking this purple paint and this pink paint from Mayron their paradise paints so they just need water to be activated. And I'm just starting with the purple. I started with the purple because we're going to be doing glitter and I wanted to just get that portion out of the way. So I'm laying down a large amount of glitter glue in larger areas and then patting in the glitter just like that. And I'm doing that for all the stripes on my neck. Well, the purple ones at least. This is really time consuming, the glitter part, but if you just lay it down in larger sections and do that as you go, it will go a little bit faster. Just be careful because glitter glue can dry very quick. Now I'm painting the pink stripes. I did all the glitter on the stripes already. 
I'm just painting these all pink and I'm gonna be leaving these stripes alone. I'm just gonna do some shading on them. I also filled in a stripe above that top purple one pink, but I waited until after I did everything else. Moving your neck can make paints on your neck kind of crease or get really weird, so I waited for that part. Now I'm outlining the collar in black. Now taking this turquoise paint from Wolf Face Art and FX, I'm going to be filling in the little collars or the little tags that I did. I'm just going to write drink me on one and eat me on the other. Make sure you do the letters backwards in the mirror. And I'm just kind of outlining parts of them to give them a little bit of a shading. Now I'm shading the pink parts. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm shading the pink parts. I'm just taking a very hot pink and a berry color and I am making the sides of it darker and leaving the inner portions lighter for like a highlight and a shadow. I even ended up adding a little bit of highlight like shimmer to the center of those so you can do that as well. Now I'm shading the collar. I used a blue from the electric palette. Honestly, I think it would look better if you just did regular shading. Um, I was gonna wear a blue wig, but when I put the blue wig on at the end, the colors just clashed. The blue wig I have is way too blue for these colors. Um, I recommend just using the normal colors for shading, like a grayish brown color and black. And then I tried to put the black on top of this blue, and it wasn't black enough. It was just a mess, so do regular shading colors if you can. Now I'm filling in my waterline with white, and I'm bringing it down in the center for more of a cat eye effect. And I'm contouring my face a little bit with some pink. Adding some highlight to the inner corners of my eyes and to my eyebrow bones. I also already did my foundation and concealer as well. I just decided not to show that. Now I am lining underneath of that white portion just to make the white portion look like my actual eye. So I'm just taking a black shadow to do this. I didn't want to make the eyes too complicated. I wanted to keep them pretty simple. Now I'm just doing a cat eye, of course. Do some top and bottom lashes. I did some crazy bottom lashes. I felt like it made that those eyes stand out really well. Now I'm filling in the teeth for the mouth. I'm just using a white paint. I did two layers of white paint for this, so they were really opaque. And then I'm filling in my bottom lip with black. I wish I would have taken the black all the way to the side, so like my whole mouth was open. Now I'm outlining the teeth. Now I'm making some shading for where the smile is going into the creases on his or her face. Then I'm outlining the whole mouth in black. Shading the teeth a little bit, I'm just using a light gray color. This just helps give the smile a little bit more dimension and makes it look just a little bit more realistic. And shade the top and bottom areas where the mouth would be covering the teeth a little bit. Paint in your cute little nose.
I'm just doing more shading and more contouring. I'm just using a lighter pink as a base. And then I end up taking a hotter pink and going in. Then I'm creating some little whiskers. Now I'm outlining the nose and making a connecting point from the nose to the mouth like cats have. Doing a bit more of some deep contouring. And that's basically it guys. Just do some more pink contouring, do whatever you need to do to finish it up a little bit. I hope you liked my take on the Cheshire Cat. I of course wanted to add some glitter. I put some little pigtail things in my hair to make it like little kitty ears. Yeah, I had fun with this look. It's really colorful. You can make it way more colorful, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, guys.